Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh, that's so why I take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Sup everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another episode of Can I Lose 20 Pounds in 6 Days? It's almost been 4 days, it's almost been 96 hours guys. The time is quarter to 8. Uh, the date should be the 8th. Yes it is, <laughs> I haven't lost a day there. Um, it's Sunday the 8th of November and um, yeah, 7.45 in the morning. I have just woken up and I've been pleasantly surprised to find that it's raining, which I'm always a fan of. <laughs> so it might not look like much, but you know, I just love it. I absolutely love the rain. And what I love more than that is a coffee. So I'm gonna grab that. And I'm just going to let you guys know exactly how I'm feeling this morning because I'll tell you what, I'm over this shit man. I'm ready for this to be done. I'm ready to make weight effectively and, um, and eat some carbohydrates because I'm feeling depleted. Uh, last night was fucking, last night was the hardest night by far for me to continue the diet. <clears throat> you know this is just a glimpse of what, uh, what fighters might actually go through. Um, but what I do think is that I've pretty much done all of the depleting as far as far as my diet, as far as you know, depleting all the all the, uh, the, the you know the huge amount of volume of food, um, depleting the carbohydrates. I've pretty much done all I can as far as that goes. You know, at this at this 96 hour point. So what I'm going to do from here is is play with a little bit of water manipulation, and I began that last night. So I I stopped. I cut water. I actually well I upped it considerably yesterday. Um, which is you know what I have been doing previously, but not so much as I did yesterday. So I probably had about seven liters of water yesterday in total, um, right up until I went to bed. So I, I I went to the toilet just before I went to bed. I woke up throughout the night and went to the toilet, and I went to the toilet as soon as I got up. So those are all good signs that my body is flushing the water exactly how I want it to. I've woken up with a dry mouth. That's another good sign. It's not a good sign for how you're feeling, but it is a good sign for weighing in. And I'll say that much. So I'm going to drink my second cup of coffee. I'm going to take in minimal food and minimal water. I'm going to head to the gym, and it would have, yeah, it would have been past the uh, the 96 hour point of this transformation. So I'm feeling, uh, honestly, I'm feeling pretty tired. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, <laughs> you know, this has not been an easy four days. I'm not going to lie. Uh, more so, just mentally. Physically, I can do this. I've done it before plenty of times, but you know, <laughs> after having gone from such an extreme as far as cutting for so many weeks to such an extreme, you know, putting on that weight in the last 11 days to such another extreme, bringing it back down, you know, it's, it's wearing on me. But uh, once I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And I said I was going to lose 20 pounds in six days, and that's exactly what's going to happen. I don't know how much sweat I'm going to have to lose, but I feel like that's going to be the real, the real hard part. Like, like I said, you know, I've done all of the glycogen depletion I can. Um, today is going to be, today's going to be interesting. I'm going to train legs, and then we're going to weigh myself. Usually, I get a really good sweat up during legs. Um, I will be taking in water during my workout, but after that, we're going to weigh in, and then I'm going to see. Look. If it's less than two kilograms to the point of, of you know, losing 20 pounds, I will not leave the gym. I'm going to go over to the kickboxing bag and I'm going to smash it for an hour. Lose the two kgs, weigh in, and then it's over. I'm going to weigh in early, guys. If I can, I will. If I can weigh in before the five-day mark, I will. So that's basically 24 hours from now. So I'm not going to push it too hard. If it's, if it's within reach, you know, I'll stay at the gym and I'll probably get it this morning. If it's not, we'll take another day of dieting and um, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll make it. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Do you have faith? Hopefully you've got faith in me now. Hopefully I'm, I'm making a little bit of sense and, and you're enjoying this like I am, funnily enough. So, guys, I'll see you at the gym.
Peace. All right, guys. So it's it's just gone eight o'clock. I do want to keep this, you know, completely transparent, open, and honest. I want to tell you guys exactly what I'm doing. So I've made up 750 ml bottle of water with amino acids. Okay, that's been basically my drip feed of protein throughout this this time that I'm cutting. If anyone out there is, you know. I guess uh, scared of lowering their protein and lowering their food intake for a period of days. This may, a product like this, a product like some sort of amino acids um, that you enjoy the taste of, may, I guess, uh, save you from some of those um, uh, feelings, you know, unnecessary feelings of, of oh, I'm going to lose muscle or, or something crazy like that, uh, which we're not going to in four days, especially if you're training. You're only going to maintain plus lose body fat. So that's what we're doing. Anyways, I want to stay completely transparent. We've got 750 mils of liquid. I've taken in probably about 750 mils worth of liquid in the form of coffee. Um, so that is a mild diuretic. That is going to continue flushing out my system. Um, but we still want to continue taking in a little bit of water uh, so that the body doesn't, you know, decide now nah, fuck you you're not taking in any water so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna expend any water one more thing i'm gonna do today i better mention it here um, if we don't weigh in at the gym this morning i'm gonna come home obviously you know eat throughout the day continue to keep it low carbohydrate but also go low sodium so one thing i have been doing is continuing to salt my meals heavily um, that is to you know retain uh, water it's gonna it's gonna help me with with my muscle contractions and so when you're not you know, when, you, when you're trying to still train um, and you don't have any carbohydrates in your system, that's when micronutrients and vitamins and minerals really come into play. And one that's important to me is sodium. So I, I salt the shit out of my meals. But uh, today, if I need to, I'm going to reduce the sodium so that hopefully I can flush a little bit more water out of my system. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, let's just see it all happen on the scales. Hopefully. <laughs> so once and for all, weight that we're aiming for today, um, the weight that we're aiming for to lose 20 pounds in six days is 87.2 kilograms. It's either 87.2 or 87.3, I can never remember, but it's in the 87s and uh, yesterday I weighed in at 90.1. So we're less than three kilograms away and like I said, yesterday wasn't easy, so I'm expecting to be... Honestly, I'm expecting to be right at this moment, probably about 88 and a half, which means we're within reach. And I'm going to stop talking now. I'll see you at the gym. All right, guys, we've made it to the gym. It's, uh, it's pretty fucking cold, actually. I'm not going to mind going inside right now. Um, it is officially 8.32 a.m. on November the 8th. Like I said, we're at the gym. I'm gonna weigh in. Okay. <clears throat> First weigh in, fully clothed, pre workout. You guys saw that just as just as clear as I did. Um, yeah, uh, was, feel, well, that was about an hour ago. The time is now. The time is 9:40, and uh, I've just finished my leg workout. It was pretty decent. Uh, I'm actually going to do a shameless plug and uh, promote my my business. Uh, which is Major Key Physiques. It's the title sponsor of this channel and if you do go to the gym, if you, if you do enjoy lifting, um, by all means check out our products. I'm very proud of them. And we are New Zealand owned and, owned and operated. So for anyone in the southern hemisphere, for anyone in Oceania, you know, you're getting behind a local brand. And um, there's not many of us. So I'm just trying to do my thing, it's just me at the moment, uh, minimal overheads, which means that I can keep the business open in these trying times. But anyways, that's enough of that. Um, 
yeah, what do we do? We weighed in at 92.5 kgs, fully, fully clothed. Um, you know, on, on, a, on another day, that might have worried me. But what I do know, and I could see it in my face when I woke up, was that that you know extra water that I took in, right, like right up until going to bed. Obviously, some of that is still going to be in my system. And with the extreme amount of sodium that I had on my um, my protein meals yesterday, combined with that added water, I feel like I am retaining a bit more than usual. Which means that I don't think we're going to be able to weigh in on on time. I feel like we're probably not going to weigh in. Uh, under weight today. Before I forget, I'm about to go and do some cardio now, but before I forget, my, uh, my strategy from here on out is to uh, take out sodium completely from the diet, continue eating protein sources and fat uh, with minimal, minimal sodium, or at least zero added sodium. I'm going to drink minimal water. What I feel like that's going to do it's going to allow the excess water in my system to flush out with that sodium. Um, and by the end of the day, I'm gonna weigh back in and uh, we'll see what's happened. Because I, I feel like that's, that's my strategy going forward. I, I, had, I had confidence that that was gonna be what I was gonna do. It's just I did not expect to see that high of a weight on the scale. But I'm gonna weigh in now after an hour of leg training. Let's go. This is fully clothed. I've sweated into the clothing, which does make a difference. And that's at 92.3. So if I took all my clothes off right now, I reckon I'd be under 91. And if I go and work out, so let me do, this, let me do some maths here. If I go and work out for half an hour and I drop a kg and a half, that's gonna take me down to the 89s, which means if I dropped another kg and a half, I'd be down to the 87s and we'd be almost there. So, I don't know man, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna hit the assault bike. Whilst I've still got a little bit of the sweat up, I'm gonna continue it. I don't want it to go away. Um, and then I'm gonna go and hit the, the uh, kickboxing bag for, a, I don't know, some time. Then we're gonna come back in. I'm probably gonna have a shower. I'm gonna strip off and we're gonna get our, our way in for day number five of the transformation. So, <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited to get on the assault bike actually, for once in my life. For once in my life I'm excited to fucking get a good sweat going. So I'll see you back here shortly. Actually, you know what, that was a lie. I love getting a sweat up. It's just not usually on the assault bike. It's not usually my, my exercise um, medium of choice. But it is today because it, it certainly gets the heart rate up like nothing else. I mean, it's basically like a sprint, isn't it? So I do Tabata training. Uh, I pro I'm probably gonna go 10 seconds on, like 100%, and then 50 seconds off, believe it or not. 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off. And it's not off, I mean, the, the, the legs are still rotating, but you're, you're certainly not pushing anything like you are in that 100% portion. Um, and that's how I like to do it. Depends how I feel, but I know that by the end of Probably not 10 rounds, but by the end of 20 rounds, I am absolutely, I'm absolutely screwed. That's, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do today. So, I might come back in after about 20 minutes of Tabata training, 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off, on the assault bike. See you shortly. Stop, mate. Without stopping. Well, you know what I mean. Really fucking tests you. It really tests you. It pushes you. This is this is a big win, and that's why I love exercise, especially high intensity shit. Because it doesn't matter what you're going through in life at the time. If you set yourself a little workout and you push yourself through, and you've completed. Fuck, man. You feel like you can do anything. And that's uh, training with weights and um, you know, loving explosive, powerful, speed-based training as well has um, benefited my life mentally. Anyways, wow, holy shit. <sighs> 
10 seconds on, 50 seconds off was absolutely perfect guys. If you've got an assault bike handy, try it out. My numbers, for anyone that loves numbers as much as I do, were uh, uh, getting the assault bike up to 1200 watts on the 10 seconds on portion and then just doing whatever I could, whatever I wanted to recover during the 50 seconds. I, I was able to maintain that through about 10 rounds. Then I dropped it down to 1000 watts. I was able to maintain that to around about, you know, around 17. Number 18, I dropped it down. I wasn't able to get to 1000. Number 19, I wasn't able to get to 1000. And number 20, I said to myself, look, this is the last round. You call yourself an athlete. You reckon you're gonna be able to do a marathon in two weeks? Push yourself. And so I did. And I got 1500 watts on my final round. So I literally finished about two minutes ago. I thought I'd go and grab the camera, I'll come in here, show you guys what kind of state I'm in, and uh, continue the workout. So, I reckon I'm gonna put a podcast on and jump on the treadmill. I'm gonna keep the sweat going. I'm not gonna go and kick the bag. I've got a, I've got a pretty cool little idea for the, um, the kickboxing. Um, and it's going to be after making the weight, I'll put it that way. So guys, this is day number five. Uh, I'm going to check back in with you one more time. We'll take a weigh-in. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying this cardio, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying... <sighs> oh, I mean, I, I, can see, I can see it on my face already, honestly. It looks... It looks leaner. Does it look leaner or is it just me? <laughs> oh, fuck. Have I got an eating disorder? I'm not sure, but maybe I do. No, I don't. I'm just really, really interested in the way that nutrition and training can help a person, can change a person's body composition um, rapidly or slowly. There's so many ways, so many methods. Definitely not one shape fits all, but we're trying to do 10, 20 pounds in six days, which is not easy. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, all done, cardio is finished, I spent 45 minutes on the treadmill in the end, uh, we've nearly hit 10,000 steps for the day, and it is 11.01am, so that's a good week session at the gym, as you can see I'm, um, I've definitely uh, perspired somewhat, so I'm going to take my shit off, and jump on the scales, and see just how much weight we have to lose within the next 24 hours, with Within the next 21 hours, okay? We're on the countdown now. The countdown is on. I want to do this within five days, not six. So let's go. Okay, I'm not sure if you can, uh, well, yeah, you, you can. Uh, this singlet is not meant to be that color. It's meant to be this color. So we certainly did a good job. I'm not expecting any miracles, honestly. I'm probably not even expecting to be under 90, but I do know that with a little bit of sodium and water manipulation, whatever the scale says right now, within 21 hours I can be on weight. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, let's go. Sweet. 89.7. And I believe, even though we began today at 92.5, which was a bit of a kick in the guts to be fair, we've finished the day on a brand new low. So that feels good. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to turn off the camera right now. Uh, the physique, this is what the physique's looking like. If you do want to know. Um, yeah, that's what we're looking like. 89.7 kilograms. I will see you guys on day number six for our final weigh-in. We've got officially 2.4 kilograms to lose. Take the sodium out of the diet, reduce the water a bit today. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning at 87.3 kilograms or less. I'm telling you that right now.
See you in the morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If I don't make the water weight, if I don't make the weight, if I don't make the weight, I'm going to sound like an absolute idiot. But I'm confident. But it's gonna, it's gonna take me, you know, going through another 24 hours of discipline. That's all it is. A bit of discipline, a bit of knowledge, and a bit of discipline, and you can do it. And that's what Jorge Masvidal did. Now, if I come in here tomorrow morning, I'm going to come in here two hours prior. So I'm going to get in here at 6 a.m. specifically. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to weigh in. If I'm not on weight, I will attempt to lose it via water weight. And the way that I'm going to do that is once again on the assault bike and on the treadmill. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out.